It's never easy to write up a list of overpowered sword wielders. Like I have said before, using a sword has a true charm to it and in most cases, the skill is the difference between life and death. While talking more overpowered sword wielding manhwa characters, we'll be talking about 10 more. As usual, we'll talk about 10 more manhwas and manhwa characters that wield a sword. And in today's video, we see a lot of MCs that can cast spells or use a sword, or are just flat out overpowered and destroy all their enemies. Let's have a look at some of the best from both genres. Number 10. Shinsu Jill Sword Overall, I would recommend this for you. I love this manhwa or novel. It's very entertaining. Mu Song, a young worker at a restaurant, dreams of winning the heart of So Yeon, the youngest daughter of a renowned family. He decides to become Shinsu Jill Blade, a term coined after a convicted swordsman who plays beauty above everything. By a chance of luck, Mu Song gains a uh, handbook written by a legendary master and receives an unknown power. The story is kind of messy and rough, but it's pretty cool. Number 9. Rise from the Rubble This manga is really similar to full-time mage, but more refined. The arcs are quite similar, and the art is better. Ten years after the night of Starfall, City S was destroyed by the biggest recorded monster outbreak in history. Zulfan, carrying the name of a traitor's son, as well as being the most useless Starfall warrior reserve who ran away, awakened the super warrior system during a trap disguised as a raid. Since then, he has embarked on the road of success, rising like a meteor, all the while searching for the truth of his father's treason amidst the strong opposition, and gradually commencing on the thorny road of saving the world. Number 8. Player If you like action, fantasy, plus MC gets transported type story, it's for you. The art is so good and has full color which is always an A+. Just take a look and you will understand what I mean. Through posting a best comment, I somehow became the main character of a webtoon. This manga is somewhat new, but the story is on the right way so far. If you want some MC who is overpowered and use swords, then you can check this one out. Number 7. Memorize The story is good, and the art is also good, and I like the characters somehow having been summoned to an alternate game-like universe of the whole plane 10 years ago by mysterious angelic beings. Su Yun has finally reached the apex of the world, but at what cost? Using his privilege as the apex, Su Yun invokes the power of Code Zero to go back 10 years and rectify his past filled with tragedy. So far it isn't anything special, but definitely isn't bad. It has a good mix of both world building and foreshadowing. Alongside making alright use of characters that he is with and previously encountered, overall it's more than enough to keep you interested. I also believe this kind of story gets better with time, of course. Number 6. Max Level Returner Pretty generic storyline for now, but the world falls into a state of panic when 120 players of a popular VR game, Eternal World, vanish without a trace one day. A few days later, they begin returning one by one after dying in the game, but they're not the only ones to make it back. Monsters also start to appear and wreak havoc on Earth. All hope seems lost until the masked monarch, the most powerful player of Eternal World, returns. He quickly assembles his old team back together to defeat the beast of the nefarious demon king once and for all. But man-made weapons are useless against the enemies they must fight, and players are struggling to level up without the game's special items or rewards. Number 5. Triple F Class Trishiro after being summoned to Fantasia, Han So Kang spends a grueling 10 years and finally defeats the Lord of Demons. He's happy and assumes he'll be returning to his own world, but unexpectedly the god of the world gives him a report card. The main character is lovably despicable, and while the art is a bit simplistic, you can overlook it easily for all the great plot twists and turns that leave you cursing and laughing and commiserating with the hero of the manhwa. You'll either love or hate it, but I recommend it either way. Number 4. The Hero Returns Another one on our list today, the strongest hero of humanity, Kim Sung Bin. He threw everything on the line and fought, but he still couldn't prevent the destruction of the world. But his legend has just begun as he returns 20 years into the past. It's alright. The beginning feels well panned out, and um, the characters feel real. It's a really good read, so you might as well check it out. Like, what are you even waiting for, dude? Like, go for it. 
Number 3. The player that can't level up. Clearly, this is a good beginning. I hope it keeps up with the pace. When Kim Kiyugu, or should I say Kikyu, receives his invitation to become a player. Yeah, a player. He thought his struggles were over, but no matter how hard he tries, he just can't seem to pass level 1. After 5 years of working as a guide on the lower floors of the tower, he's finally discovered his ability to link with egos and raise his stats. As his new skills unlock adventures and unexplored gates, Kigyu gets his chance to defy expectations and show the world that rank isn't everything. The art is nice though and a lot of beautiful panels and generally quality but once in a while someone looks a little wonky. Number 2. Reincarnation of the Suicidal Battle God Want some mangas where the MC wields swords, then this is for you. Zephyr is the last human fighting evil in a world abandoned by the gods when he is killed in battle by a Tartarus, the god of destruction, all hope for humanity seems lost, but Zephyr's fate is not sealed. The gods who find his battles entertaining have gifted him for a second chance at life, as he is sent ten years into the past, back to when he was a slave instead of the most powerful human alive. Can Zephyr get his revenge against Tartarus and save the woman he loves, or is he doomed to repeat the past? The beginning is good and the MC is interesting and I have high hopes. I gotta get high high hopes for a living. Gotta get a star but I never wanna kill it. I'm kidding. Number 1. Leveling with the Gods. Excellent manhwa. I like the drawing style. The story is quite good. You want Kim, a plucky high school ranking warrior, after a bitter defeat, but Yuan is too tenacious to give up. His loss becomes the dawn of a new journey as a returnee. With renewed determination, Yuan starts back from where he began, smashing monster after monster and relearning his skills before taking on the tower once again. But can he fight his way through the tutorials and level up once more, or will his wrong, wrong, wrong conquest crumble before him? As of right now, it is really good. It has a pretty good art style and a well-developed story, and the characters are fairly entertaining and I would even say memorable. It's something to actually look forward to. It's nothing, you know, not unique. It's pretty good. I mean, that's why it's on number one for this list. Like, everything number one is always something good. So don't worry. Like, you know, don't ever worry. That's all for today. I hope you all enjoy the video. If you do, then give this video a like and share it with your friends and family and also subscribe for more top 10. Stay safe and take care. My name is Zita Khan and I'm the voice of the voiceless. See you next time, folks. Signing out.